Yeah, um, our business teams just couldn't see eye to eye. And that's all it was. You know, aside from that, it was, you know, a great experience. But um, at the end of the day, it all comes down to business and it just didn't work out. And I felt like that situation wasn't for me, business-wise and contractually. But other than that, you know, it's all love. Because it basically, um, it means, it stands for the whole persona of Lola Monroe. You know, I'm a female rapper. I have my hard side, but at the same time, I'm feminine. I still have a sexy side to me. So that's where the lipstick comes from. And the pistols is just a hard, hardcore, you know, edge. So it just, it matches Lola Monroe. You know, Lola Monroe, lipstick and pistols all that I make sure in the whole boss that mafia movement it just all intertwines and just made sense for how I present my brand and everything I put out um it was different vibes with everyone um with Juicy Juicy will always get me back to where I was when I made that mixtape with Boosie and my previous work and so I loved that vibe and with Wiz it was always free and it was just it was just a free you know he has that free spirit that free vibe so it was always it was always dope in the studio with him too so it, it just depends it was all different vibes really well she heard I released Dark Red Lipstick she heard it she liked it she sent me a tweet and was like I love the records I'm like shit get on it you know I love her flow, I love what she does, and I sent her the record, she sent it back to me, she killed it. So hopefully we get to shoot a video or something for it. But that's Drake rapping. When he raps, he's one of the best, dog. Like, he says shit I've never heard before. You don't, like I can't go in somebody else's house and even though they let me wear their clothes and eat their food, that's not my house. 